This is part four of how to make a story sphere. In the end of part three, we had a look at how we created a grid like this and what areas four, five, six, and seven meant. So in here, we are going to have a look at exactly what that means. Now, the one that I've just made is the one over here called uh, being creative. Now, first up, what I've done is I put a ton of like wood along the top and a load of wood over the bottom and I've separated it into four areas. And the reason I've done that and to illustrate that is it's here. So in part three, we had a look at why the center of the story sphere when rotated is looking quite square and round. But as you go up in areas one, two and three, of course, they become very tapered and very um, disorientated along with 8, 9, and 10 at the bottom. And you can see here that if we put a yellow box around the outside, we can follow that to the left and look at why we have done, as an example, what we've done. So to, to see that in action, what we need to do is to go over and look at being creative. And I wanted to produce something that um, I wanted to show people about. So for an example, it's uh, one that looks at... Google Creative Labs with some of the people they've worked with over the last couple of years and some of the things that you may know. But I wanted to illustrate that because actually this is the precursor to a blog post where I'm going to abandon the story sphere idea and show you how it can be done in a blog post with all the audio and the pictures and stuff because you can embed some um, audio files in Google Drive directly embedded in a blog post. And I, of course, I use Blogger. So what we've got here... Let's just go to the top again. That's what I just showed you. Just, just uh, everybody needs a reminder. So go back to say, here's the rectangle, which is 4,000 wide by 2,000 high. We've got wood at the top and the bottom slides in the middle. Okay, that was repeated over to here, going into the real thing. So at the top and at the bottom, we've got the wood. Then in the middle, let's just keep that steady because people get dizzy. And we can start to explore. Now, in one way, I'm, I'm thinking this is far, far too close. And in another way, it's quite nice because if you look, here is the uh, Tom Uglo with his interview without the front. And if you look back, it's down here on the, the right-hand side, and it's very flat, very small. But when you look at it in the story sphere, it's gone pretty big and, and what I've done is I've recorded and I'm, I'm not going to play them because I'm not sharing the audio um, into this meeting so in other words here is one February 2014 to explore it and this is what I, what I quite like and I hope you do too and that is if it works we can play the audio and while the audio is playing for hangouts in history and virtual field trips here with Grumpy Sailor you can kind of like say, oh, I'm listening to that. And I can see there's James Boyce there at the back of his head sitting down here looking at um, Hangouts in History. And then you could, if you wish, to go over and say, what, what is that all about? And then I've offered you the link to follow that up later. Now, these two couple of characters down here from Google Creative Labs as well are talking about the Chrome Racer, which you might know about. And there is uh, Jeff and Stuart, an audio file as well. And I, I've done this with a label. So just to repeat... We've got, let's just try to find how I can find them. Now, I'm, I'm pretty lost, and I'm, I think by exploration, we're supposed to be lost, and that is if it goes racer, hangouts in history, interview, and the cube at the end. Going back, then we've got, and this is in date order, so, yeah, it's getting fun now. Oh, there's the cube, look, but I've come up at the back end, look, June 2013, and this video will end in about 10 seconds, and then we've got a couple of people talking about things there. So... This was another part in the story of Story Spheres.